Hi everyone, it's Wesley here from SurefireTradingChallenge.com. So today's the day we're going to allow you to download the MetaTrader 4 trading platform. So I just want to show you what's going to happen and how you can go about getting uh, these items and installing them. So first thing you'll notice here is that I'm in the uh, trading zone and you can see here that it says the MetaTrader 4 platform will be available by Friday the 10th of September at 10 p.m. Uh, GMT. Now that's just a guide. Um, as soon as the markets close, um, the platform will be available. So we'll be uh, sending you an email a little later on, uh, just telling you exactly when uh, the platform is available and when you can go in and download it. So keep an eye out for my email later on. Uh, that will be your sign to log in and then uh, get the platform. Okay. So let's just start from scratch. Uh, what I'm going to do here is go through to the instruction area okay and show you how to get the uh, platform and how to install Arbitro now I've just clicked on the link here and it's brought me out to the instruction page now over here you can see there are three simple steps uh, to get this done the first thing you need to do is register for the competition uh, by this stage if you're inside over here it means you've registered already so there's nothing to worry about but if by some uh, odd occurrence you uh, are not registered uh, as yet click on that button it'll take you out to the registration area and you can fill out the form uh, if you are registered, what you need to do then is click on the MetaTrader 4 platform uh, link. Now at the moment, if you come out over here and you try to download it, you can see here that you will get a message. You can click as many times as you want and you're not going to be able to download this link. Now as soon as the markets close, we will enable this link and when you come in here, you'll then be able to click it. Now I'll show you how that works. So I've just gone ahead and um, enabled this link. So I'm going to refresh my page, pressing Control and F5. And the next time I come out here, I should be able to download it. OK, so I've just uh, refreshed the page. I'm just going to scroll down here to the MetaTrader 4 platform. Click on that button there. And now you can see I can download, or I can click on the link to download. And it's asked me to save the file. So I'm just going to click on OK. And I'm going to save that. Okay, so this should take a few seconds to um, to download, just depending on your internet connection. And once that's done, we can then go about installing the MetaTrader 4 platform. So we'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, so just a few seconds left. And we'll have our platform. And we can go about installing it. Okay, so the download has completed. What I'm going to do now is open this file. Okay, it is in a zip archive, and you should have no trouble opening this. Um, I'm just going to double click on that installer. Okay, and it's asked me to, if I want to allow this uh, program to make changes, I want to click on yes. Okay, I'm going to select my language, which is English. Click on next. Click on next again sign up for the uh, agreement you can go through this at your own uh, pace alright choose my installation folder I'm gonna leave it as the default um, location there click on next okay it says to me that you've specified a folder which already exists and some previous installations were installed there I had this uh, platform installed a little while ago uh, while we were doing some testing so I'm just gonna go ahead and overwrite that Okay, I'm going to select the program group, that's fine. I'm going to use the default, click on next. Um, you're now ready to install the platform, click on next, and it'll go about installing itself. Okay, so the platform has been installed at this point. What you need to do now is make sure that that uh, launch Tradology FX um, checkbox is ticked, click on finish, and this will load up the platform. And here we go. Okay, so the first thing it's going to ask you to do is to create an account. Okay, you can see it's already got my uh, details filled in. So enter my name, uh, country, and the rest of my details. Uh, you don't need to choose any options at this point here. All you've got to do is fill in your information. The account type, which is set to Tradology, 
is set to the correct uh, parameter, so there's no need to change that. No need to change the currency either. The leverage is set to 1 is to 500. That's fine. That's the leverage that we're going to use for the competition, so there's no need to change that. And also your deposit has been set to $1,000. So there's no need to change that. All you've got to do after you enter in, enter in your details, click the I agree to subscribe to your newsletters button or checkbox. Click on next. On the screen, you want to click on the scan button. All right, it's done with the scan. Once that's done, click on next. And here you go. Your account has been created. Okay, so you might want to uh, make a note of these, this information over here. You will get an email as soon as you're done uh, or click the finish button. You might want to save that just for your uh, own personal uh, reference uh, later on. So I'm going to click on finish. And Incoming mail. there we go. I've just got the registration email. Here's my information for this account. Okay, so I can copy that and I can save that somewhere uh, for future reference. And if you look at it, my account has uh, been set up with the correct parameters. Balance of 1000, the leverage is uh, correct. Um, once we have our account set up, the next thing that we need to do is get the Arbitro uh, Expert Advisor, and we need to install that as well.